Hey, what's going on guys? This is Chris. I'm in the 2000 model year Jetta TDI that I bought um, so far. Let's see, we've got almost 355K on her. I got it with about 353.5, so I've driven it about 1,500 miles for free. I haven't paid for any of the fuel in it. Um, I put some kerosene in it that I got uh, for free from someone, and then um, I ran it on a bunch of diesel that this guy didn't need anymore. He had bought it for a, like a shop heater. He didn't need the heater anymore, or I guess something like that. So he had like 30 gallons of diesel he just gave to me. So, But now I'm gonna try putting in some vegetable oil. I have some used peanut oil that I've had sitting for a long time now, just kind of like settling. So I'm gonna pour most of it in and then all of the crap that's at the bottom, obviously not put into my tank, but I have about, uh, looks like a quarter tank or so of diesel in here so the veg oil will mix pretty nicely with that um, it helps sort of thin things out a little bit um, you're supposed to only run straight vegetable oil if you heat the vegetable oil to thin it out but i'm going to dump some in and see what happens this is a nice little experiment um, so far this car is running great it does have uh, some lights on the abs light the airbag light you can see uh, the check engine light is just for the egr delete but um you know it's a junky car, I just use it to get around uh, for cheap, uh, and so far it's doing that for me. Uh, and it's fun because it's stick, so, you know, let's dump some uh, veg oil. Alright, so there you go. It's probably about four gallons of peanut oil. I'm just going to dump it right in the car. It doesn't really look like there's actually too much junk in there. It looks pretty clean. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's really clean. It's pretty thick, though. Um, it's about 70 degrees out, so... It's probably part of it, but it's definitely like veg oil thickness like you'd expect. So mixing with the diesel will help thin it out a lot. As you can see right there, it's pretty gel-like. That's all she wrote. Now to see if she starts up. All right, moment of truth. I've wanted to do this since I bought this car. So the whole reason I bought this thing in the first place. So let's see how much uh, extra fuel we got. All right, so it's reading a little over half. See how it does here. It's got fresh fuel in the system still. So once it gets to the veg, see if we notice anything different. All right, it runs fine. I just realized I got home and I didn't really film much driving of it. So I'll get some footage driving it so you guys can see how it does feels just like it does with diesel, honestly. It doesn't really seem to be any less powerful. Um, peanut oil is no less energy dense or energy efficient than diesel. So, um, and a fun fact, if you don't know already, the diesel engine was actually designed to run on peanut oil. Did plenty of pulls, accelerations. It seems to run just like it does on the straight diesel, so. You hear the little turbo whistling. Up a little bit of the hill here. Pulls just fine. Yeah, honestly, if you have one of these old diesel engines, um, this is an ALH TDI. The engine code's an ALH, that's what it is. Um, you can safely run a variety of different ratios of veg oil to diesel. Um, again, please proceed at your own risk, do your own research, but this is just me experimenting and having fun. But yeah, I, I mean, I seem to, I noticed no difference. I'm going to track the mileage on the odometer and see. I imagine it'll do just fine efficiency wise, but if you have a reliable source of uh, vegetable oil, you know, you can go ahead and get yourself some free fuel with diesel being five dollars a gallon all right guys uh that's about it for this video if you enjoyed watching me run my car on vegetable oil uh, please give it a like please comment below uh, let me know your thoughts and um yeah please subscribe if you want to see me run this car on more wacky and weird alternative fuels I'm probably going to try waste motor oil, waste automatic transmission fluid, and I'll continue doing waste vegetable oil as much as I can find some. But yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Take care.